The Arabians, living at the intersection of West Asia, the Levant, and East Africa, have a unique genetic profile, characterized by high contribution from the Natufians, Anatolian Neolithic farmers, Iranian Neolithic farmers, and even the Indus Valley civilization. Due to the influence of illustrative DNA models, many people now believe that Arabians can be up to 70% Natufian. This is wrong. In fact there is no group on Earth that is over half Natufian. Sometimes people forget that G25 and Illustrative DNA's recent T25 calculators are just toys that are only useful when their results parallel serious academic tools like Edmixtols. According to this Edmixtols 2 model, the Saudis can be modeled as 72% Arabian and 17.4% Israelite and 10.6% Nubian from Kolobnardi. The Saudi.ho group in the Adder dataset consists of 10 samples which we will review in this video. The Semites spread from the Levant, carrying with themselves a high portion of Anatolian Neolithic, Caucasus, and Iranian Neolithic farmer ancestry. The ancestors of Arabians had an affinity to the Levant from the very beginning, hence why FST analysis reveals the closest modern population to the Saudis are Jordanians and Syrians. For this video, I gathered every sample from the Saudi.ho group on David Reich's Adder dataset and then ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis to determine their traits and predispositions. The most common Y lineage among these Saudis was J1, which actually originates from the Caucasus. African E lineage was common too. The most common predicted phenotypes were Pamarid and East Alpinid. The most common predicted eye colors were various shades of brown, but two samples did have light eyes. No sample scored hazel as their predicted eye color. No sample was predicted to have red or blonde hair. Seven samples scored light brown skin tone, one sample scored olive, and two scored dark brown. The most common predicted hair texture was straight, but there were samples with curly and even kinky hair too. By far the most common predicted nose shape was Greek. Eight samples had a high predisposition to male pattern baldness, and two had reduced odds of baldness. The Saudis had high odds of autism. Most samples were lactose intolerant, but there was a significant minority that did produce the lactase enzyme. The Saudis had roughly average levels of empathy based on OXTR genotypes. The Saudis had high odds of atrial fibrillation, very high predisposition to cardiovascular issues, and high odds of type 2 diabetes. The Saudis had roughly average odds of hemoglobin E disease, low odds of depression, mostly low odds of bipolar disorder type 1, and average odds of Alzheimer's. Only one sample out of 10 carried risk variants for autoimmune disease in HLA. Saudis had average odds of allergies, and high odds of syncope. Four people carried risk variants for polycythemia vera in JA K2, which is quite average. Every sample carried risk variants for testicular cancer in KITLG, which is typical for Eurasians. The Saudis were predicted to have very high levels of LDL cholesterol, which is bad for cardiovascular health, but is a common result for West Eurasian populations. They also had low HDL cholesterol, which is also bad for cardiovascular health. I calculated the average odds ratio for certain conditions and compared them across populations I've previously made videos on. It seems that the risk of hemoglobin E disease peaks among the Saudis and Northern Europeans. The risk of Alzheimer's seems to peak in Northern Europeans and is lowest in Jews, with the Saudis having intermediate risk. The risk of bipolar type 1 seems to peak in Jews and be lowest in the Druze. The risk of type 2 diabetes seems to peak in Jews and Saudis. Cardiovascular risks peak in Saudis, and the odds of atrial fibrillation are also highest in Saudis. What do you think of this analysis? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. The links to purchase all their raw DNA data will be in the description along with the links to purchase Andre DNA products and services.